after users created a schedule in Synchro or imported a schedule from the outside source. Users can then push updated schedule to the outside source or bring schedule changes from the source scheduling software into Synchro. Such process of updating or merging changes is called synchronization. In general, synchronization can be completed in two ways. Users can choose to bring updated schedule from outside source to Synchro by Synchronize From. Users can also push updated data from Synchro to outside source by Synchronize To. For Synchronize From or Synchronize To, Synchro allows users to select a synchronization option for those schedule attributes individually to manage schedule changes or updates. For each of these attributes, there are four synchronization options. First, skip. By choosing this option, the attribute will not be considered. These changes will not be reflected. Secondly, synchronize. Attributes will be completely replaced with the update or changes. Users need to keep in mind that this option should not be used when users have added project attributes such as tasks or calendars, etc. in Synchro, or imported several projects into a single Synchro project. In these cases, data lost can happen. Thirdly, consolidate. Changes to the attributes will be merged without anything being deleted. Users will end up getting most tasks. The fourth option is integrate. Integrate is identical to the option synchronize. The integrate option ensures that the associated attributes will be synchronized according to the following rules. Compared to the synchronize option, the changes are targeted only for the data belonging to the selected project. In addition, data added to the target project from other source projects will be left unchanged. This option is recommended if users are importing several source projects into one Synchro project. In summary, these synchronization options allows users to either overwrite or merge the changes. Let's use p6xml synchronize from as a simple example to explain these options. In Synchro, user has imported a model User also imported the schedule by p6xml file and fully linked the model in the schedule. In Synchro, user added two child tasks for activity 38, plumbing work. User also created a project level summary task named phase two schedule. Later on, the P6 scheduler gave the Synchro user an updated schedule, in which he made the following changes. First, task 12, wood floor, has been deleted, and its associated logic was adjusted. Two, for those services tasks that were not sequenced in the original schedule, now they have been sequenced and the durations are updated. Please also note that the logic tests are arbitrary. Now we have the updated p6xml file, and then let's compare the difference of synchronize, consolidate, and integrate. Before synchronization, we can create the current schedule as a baseline and do a save as to save a backup copy of the SP file. First, let's go to Navigator, External Data, right click on the original schedule, choose the option Synchronize From, and browse to the folder 
where the updated schedule is stored. Double click to open the schedule and then choose next. Now we are going to use the option synchronize. In this synchronize from window, Synchro allows users to pick a synchronization option for each of the attributes here. Since update has been made to tasks and links, let's choose synchronize for these two attributes. For task constraints and costs, we know there weren't any changes in the new schedule, so we can choose skip. You may notice that for global attributes such as calendars, resources, activity codes, and user fields, there are only two synchronization options, which are skip and consolidate. And the default synchronization option is consolidate. That means nothing will be deleted in the source scheduling software during synchronize to or synchro during synchronize from. We can choose skip for all of them because calendars were not changed in the new schedule. Resources were only created in synchro and no resources were added in the new schedule. Similarly, activity codes and user fields can be skipped too. Synchronization will be faster if users know what attributes to skip. Now let's click on the Synchronize button to finish Synchronize from the updated schedule. In the output window, we can review the synchronization results. There are nine tasks that have been updated, and seven tasks were deleted. Also, we've created six new links in the synchronization process. Let's take a look at the scheduling synchro after it was synchronized. We have several findings. We noticed that the wood floor task was deleted because it was deleted from the update schedule. And if we move the focus time to the beginning of the schedule, we will notice that the 3D object for wood floor is now floating. This is because this resource has been unassigned from its associated task, which was deleted in synchronization. The two child tasks for the plumbing work task were deleted too. And the phase two schedule tasks were all deleted. All services activities have now been sequenced with new durations. These are all because we picked the option synchronize for synchronization. Synchro will allow the new schedule to replace the schedule in Synchro. User can also use the feature compare schedules to compare the current schedule in Synchro to the baseline that we created prior to synchronization. For example, you will find the deleted tasks underneath the deleted tasks section of the report. These are the tasks that have been deleted from synchronization. Now let's undo synchronization and repeat the process by using consolidate this time. From the synchronization output, we can see that neither tasks or links have been deleted. Nine tasks were updated and six links were created. If users want nothing to be deleted in the schedule in Synchro, they can choose Consolidate, review the schedule after synchronization, and manually delete attributes which they no longer want to keep in Synchro. Let's look at the schedule in Synchro now. The services tasks were sequenced and updated with new durations. And the last child task of the plumbing work task was reduced by five days so that the parent duration is updated. That is to say, when a task has become a summary task in Synchro, Consolidate adjusts the duration of its last child task so that the parent duration will be updated. In addition, you may find out that the wood floor task was unchanged in Synchro, but the logic tie between frost walls and sleeping suites were added. So in short, users get most tasks by choosing consolidate and nothing will be deleted from synchronization. Now let's undo synchronization again to look at the last synchronization option, which is integrate. 
This option is identical to synchronize, but will only target at the attributes belonging to the selected schedule. That is to say, synchronization is now targeted only for the data belonging to the selected target project. Data from other sources will be left unchanged. Similar to consolidate, we can expect to see the phase two schedule and its subtasks left unchanged. Child tasks of the plumbing work will not be removed from the schedule from synchronization, but the duration of the last child tasks will be updated since the duration of the parent was updated in P6. The only task which was deleted in synchro by using integrate is the wood floor task which belonged to the selected source schedule and was deleted in the updated schedule in P6. To summarize, we've introduced the concept of synchronization in the four synchronization options in Synchro. If you're still unclear about synchronization, please use the schedule synchronization diagram created by our team and reach out to us at support at synchroltd.com if you have any questions.